So hello and I saw this book on the Lord AMD. So many of you have been asking me how much RAM is enough RAM. So with this MacBook Pro with the chip M1, I've got it with a gigabytes of RAM, but the other MacBook Air I have has a 16 gigabytes of RAM and the other MacBook Pro 16 gigabytes. So I think I can actually give you my humble opinion. Now, the RAM, why is it important to have a lot of RAM? Well, I think it's better when you've got uh, multiple, uh, let's say, uh, options open. So let's say you've got Safari, you're editing videos, you're using Photoshop. So all at the same time, the more RAM you've got, the better. Now, remember that it will go a little bit smoother also. So I think it's something to uh, think about. Now, why doesn't any everybody get the actual uh, Mac with the best amount of RAM possible? So essentially, it has to do with the fact that more RAM, more money. It goes down to that. So for instance, this MacBook Pro chip M1 has the eight gigabytes RAM. I personally think that maybe with uh, 16 gigabytes, it would go a lot smoother, but it was true that at the time I couldn't afford the actual, uh, let's say, upgrade. So let's talk a little bit about it. So eight gigabytes would be to use uh, your emails, your documents, your webs, then 8 to 16 gigabytes would be more of a, if you need it uh, to actually occasionally do some editing, some videography and stuff. I would say 16 to 32 gigabytes would be 3D architects, uh, any interior designers that really need to do uh, the actual uh, editing as a day to day job. And I would say more than 32 gigabytes are professional in some sort of space that involves programming or editing. Okay. So, as always, if you've got any questions, just leave it down here in the comments below. And me or anyone from the Learning MD team, as surely as possible. And as always, thank you very much for watching.